So I'd like to give everyone a tour of the new online university for Thistle Threads website. This is the home page that you get to when you type thistle-threads.thinkific.com or take one of the links from the main uh, website pages. You get a picture of the um, uh, Harmony Casket here um, with some information about finding out more about the course. You have up the top bar all the courses that are being offered, something that takes you back to the shop to the blog or to sign in. If you go down, you'll see the current uh, online course offerings with some amount of description to them and how many lessons. And you can also view more courses if I have more courses going on. And a little bit of discussion about uh, the fact that you have to uh, buy the courses through the website um, from the shop at the moment because I don't have the purchasing through this online platform ready yet. So let's sign in. You hit the sign in at the top and um, enter your email. In this case, I'm going to enter a false student that I had already set up with my password. And then hit remember me. Now notice here that there is a place for if you forget your password that you can recover it. Seems to always have a pop up here which makes you do the old Am I a robot thing? So you select all the bicycles. Oh my god. Okay. Now I'm in and I'm Susie Student and I can see all the courses that I've been registered for here. Uh, this, this student has registered for four courses. Because these courses are in the middle of being done, um, I've given you access to all of the lessons up to this particular point. Let's look at the 2018 17th century whitework sampler. One thing that could potentially confuse you all is this little circle that you see here, which has a little 0% or maybe it'll end up having a, a different percentage in it. You can ignore this. This is a platform that's built for companies who are trying to uh, educate their own workforce and need to monitor whether or not their workforce has gone through the particular um, uh, online courses uh, for training. And so this right here is a indication of how far you've progressed in the course. Obviously that's a little diff different for those of us who are doing online courses for doing projects. You want to be able to go back and forth, back and forth um, to things. So this is useless, so just ignore it. You can either see the overview or start the course. Let's look at the see the overview. The overview here tells you um, uh, what the course is about and gives you just an overview of the course curriculum. What is in each lesson? And you can hit the plus and the minus in order to open up. And all of the lessons that I have already uploaded are shown here, one, two, three, four, going down. And then it will show you the different things that are actually in each of those courses. If it has a little cloud sign with an arrow, that's a downloadable um, piece. If it has this right here, it has a TX, that's a text that's just um, uh, talking about the Pinterest board and in that particular case it has a link to it. In some of the cases, not in this particular course, I'll look at uh, one of those courses, it might have a video associated with it. But you can see everything is all listed out here. So we can hit either resume course here or go back to the page we were at before and it'll bring you into the actual course structure. This is the navigation side of the course, and this is where the content is part of the course. You hit a lesson to open or close it, and then you hit each of the separate pieces of that lesson, such as lesson one, general course overview. That's the lesson one that we had in the course. Um, it's a picture to kind of refer to what's actually in the lesson, and to uh, take it onto your computer, you hit the download button and it opens it up as a PDF like we used to before. The big surprise though for everybody is that it is one PDF instead of page by page and I know everybody is going to be terribly excited about that. That is a new thing. It took me a while to figure out how to do it on this platform but we are able to do it. So it is one document and then depending on your browser 
you go forth and use the process that you used to use to download to your actual computer. Since I'm using Safari, I go to my file and I export as a PDF directly onto my desktop or my documents. Now the thing about this is that all of the lessons are hosted on Amazon and so it adds to it a set of random numbers to the end. So if you don't want all of that, rename it yourself and then save it to your uh, hard drive. I can then go back to the lesson and download the project. And you see the, the actual project picture here to let you know what it is. And here we are downloading it. And again, it is one document uh, for you to download. Because um, we are midway in this particular course right now, if you prefer, you can go back and download all of the lessons up to this point in this for format and catch up or have them already in uh, one um, lesson format. You can see here as we go forward all of the different lessons that are there as well as a picture kind of giving you a feeling for what it is. If perhaps you um, see that there are lessons that are in the future here and you thought oh maybe they're available to me and you hit it and you try to download it will actually tell you hey, that lesson's not released yet. You haven't made an error in your um, password, uh, which I get a lot of emails about that. And it tells you when that content is going to be available to you. Okay. So let's go back to a different uh, um, uh, course. Oh, let me, let, me, let me tell you a little bit. Here's that 0% complete again. And then you see the, this bar down here, which says complete and continue. As I said before, these are just for um, companies that are trying to keep track of how far you are going um, in a training protocol. If you want to use that, apparently you can by actually hitting, I've read this, I've read this, oh I, here we go, I think it is, you complete it, there you go. So if you want to use that in order to help you know that you have actually downloaded it, you can do that and you see how the percentage complete uh, goes in the bar. So if you end up or maybe you, fit, you didn't uh, finish that, and then you'll change it to, I didn't, I didn't finish downloading that. So that could potentially be useful to, to some people um, in the course. So let's go back to a different class, such as the Silk Pearl Flower course. And we'll, instead of looking at the overview, we'll just go straight into the class itself. Here we are, lesson one, Lesson one has download information. The tracing pages are downloadable. And here we have videos. So we can go to the video and it will play right in this player here for you to watch. Um, it is not downloadable, um, but um, at the end of the classes, I will put together a link um, on YouTube that will allow you to um, have uh, the video content in the future. One big thing about uh, the new platform is they make me pay for those of uh, you who have um, active um, uh, access to courses. So I will be uh, sending you emails uh, at the end of the course to go back and download what you need um, from the course and give you about three months to do so and then I will be uh, changing your access to the course. But considering now that we can download everything in pretty much one or two clicks, it shouldn't be that much of a problem for people to keep up with the monthly downloads onto their computer. I hope this helps you um, understand how the uh, new uh, classroom will work. And if you have questions, please let me know. Thank you.